Hey everybody, um, I'm trying to make a quick 15 minute video on this brand new climb mid-layer jacket. It's called a uh, Resilience, this is the name of it. I have not seen this jacket on any video, either on YouTube from a private person like myself, on Revzilla, even the climb website. I think it's so brand new and I just came across it by accident, I think on the climb website when I was looking for mid-layers. So um, if anyone sees, and I really sincerely ask of this, if anyone sees this jacket uh, from another video, please mention it, because I'd like to know. So, because this is at my level as a consumer, giving you guys my experience. Now you could go on to Revzilla or the Climb website itself, look up Resilience Jacket, and it will give you the nuances of what kind of material and stuff it has, it's made out of. Now when we talk about mid-layer, we're talking about long sleeves, and generally it has some kind of zipper. Either your uh, mid layer is going to have a uh, three quarter or a, um, a V-neck type of zipper system or a full zip like what this has. Some mid layers do not have the pockets like this one does. The price point coming in at this one is $120. Once again, um, I get a military discount, so I probably paid around 104. Uh, I think it's a great jacket. I love how it feels right now. My base layer that I'm wearing right now that I've started to wear on my motorcycle riding are just very simple 100% um, merino wool t-shirts. I love them. They wash really good. There's just a lot of good qualities. They're a little bit more pricier than a regular t-shirt, but um, I'm kind of moving away from the whole jersey scene, like the climb jerseys and any other kind of motorcycle jersey because I'm not that type of rider. Uh, I might carry one with me, but I love the merino wool. So on top of the merino wool, that would be my base layer, and then you would zip this up. I don't know if you could see it. I might come on the other side of the camera so you can tell, but I'm wearing, um, I'll do another video on these later because I'm gonna talk about the climb pants, but I'm wearing the climb Mojave pants right now, the in the boot pants, and I'm gonna put on uh, the um, climb Dakar jacket. Now, right now, the Resilience is a standalone piece of equipment. In the Resilient line, if you look at it, I think they have three more color patterns that match the Dakar setup. So if you're looking at something off-road, something adventure riding, and you're looking at what the Dakar pants and jackets and jerseys look like, this Resilience jacket kind of follows the trend of the Dakar, a little bit of the Mojave also, but it's a standalone mid-layer. Mid so let me put it on under the um, Climb Dakar. So it, if, if, you, if I'm in screen, which I don't, I hope I... Um, and I will do a I will do a more detailed on the jacket later. I'm not talking about the Dakar jacket specifically, but I like the way. First of all, I like the way it looks. I like the way that this resilient pattern, and I think like their other climb uh, base layers. I'm sorry, the other climb mid layers. Uh, they have some other different color options, but none of them match as well as this one does. So that's the um, resilience, and then this is how it fits under the, under the Dakar. It feels like, it feels wonderful. It feels, now, one thing that I think is very, very, very important when you're talking about mid-layer and um, your exterior armor jacket and even the stuff over it, stick with the manufacturer. I wear, I'm a pretty heavy guy. I'm, you're looking at me, I'm about six foot, and I'm pushing a little over 230 pounds. And everything else in my wardrobe, I got to wear double X. Double X on everything. The double X in the climb line is too big for me. I did try on the double X, uh, the two X Dakar jacket. It was a little bit baggy in the waist, even though I'm getting a gut, and my, the sleeves are way too baggy and long. It would not have, it would have irritated me. My other two climb jackets are in the extra large range. Now what's important to remember is try to keep true to your sizing. So the um, resilient jacket is extra large this outer shell is extra large, and so is um, my my uh, weather, my uh, raincoat that I go over this is extra large. If you decide to go to another manufacturer, you say, well, you know, 120, I can get that for 80. Awesome, do it. I would just caution on saying, um, pay attention to the manufacturer and how that manufacturer runs their sizes according to your body composition. So for me, yes, I stuck with the extra large. I would not have gotten a double X in the, um, I would not have gotten a double X in the resilience to intend to put that because then what ends up happening, the double X, that extra material is gonna bound, bind underneath your arms and it's just gonna get bulky on the inside. So I'm gonna take off the Dakar jacket and I will do a review on the Dakar jacket at a later time, maybe tomorrow. 
Um, so let me go back and talk more about the resilient. And these things are great together. I mean, they just slid right off. Welcome to my kitchen, by the way. So um, look up the climb to get the material. But one thing I just did not get out of any, because they have a couple of other mid layers, the Inferno and some of the other ones. Um, I like a full zip because what that allows is easy off and on if you don't want to take your helmet off, easy to adjust what kind of ventilation you may want. This really doubles as a great windbreaker. So it's, uh, I believe it's, yes, yeah, YKK zipper. So you have a full zip. You have a breast pocket zip here. Now this one does not have a little port for your headphones to go through. There's nothing there that has that, but I do like that breast pocket. You got uh, a side pocket on either side. So there's a, I know I got the hang tags. I'm not gonna go anywhere with the hang tags still on. But um, uh, you got pockets on either side. Inside the pocket, you have the drawstring that you could, you could cinch up the waist, and that is right here. So what you would do, you know, you push this down. There's a little push button thing. This goes into the pocket, so you just pull it down and it cinches up the waist. I probably wouldn't, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Now, something that's not mentioned on any of the sites is that you have two more interior pockets. So you got an interior pocket here. Oh, well, that's weird. Because this part goes all the way up. That's weird. So you got a pocket here on the left and the same billowing pocket here on the right. Now there was something that said, um, there was something that said that this jacket rolls into itself in one of the pockets. I don't know how, I don't know how, I don't care, I really don't, it doesn't really make a difference to me. But let me take off, take it off all the way and probably show you some of the other design. But yeah, the Marina wool shirt I just got, it's not, I just got it on Amazon. I probably paid, you know, 30 something dollars for it. So really nice, um, really nice neck liner. This is really comfortable against the neck. I love the color combination. Um, there's the stretch material here that's on the sides underneath the arms and not too really heavy on the logos on this but as you saw it works really really well with the cutter pattern move back up with the color pattern these are the mojaves it would match the Dakar Dakars I'll get into the pants another another video but let me put this back on real quick um, yeah, but if you're looking for a mid layer this is a very very lightweight very it works perfectly with the system I'm so happy I got it if you're looking at uh, a mid layer just find out what's right for you I think the other one span between like 90 to 100 bucks and this is the highest one I saw is 120 designed to um, break I was gonna say break wind um, <laughs> designed to uh, be a wind break underneath your uh, um, outer shell one thing I just never liked is when a uh, armored jacket comes with its own liner liner they're very plastically plastic and rubbery and it just seems to like stick and get bunched up in the jacket where as you saw wearing a climb jacket this stuff slides off and on i'm really going to enjoy this so um ask any questions please put in the comments if in fact um you have seen this on any other video i have not and i hope i covered most of the things um it has a corded cuff but it's just a wonderful mid layer to put underneath any jacket and wear it around so you know you get to your camp you go into a store or whatever and you solve the pockets one thing I would say I wouldn't start putting stuff in these pockets using it as a mid layer leave stuff out of the pockets you use your jacket to carry your cargo because it's gonna be hard to access number one unless you put something here um, it can be hard to access and you're just gonna add more bulk I don't think that's what's really designed for so uh, just keep that in mind all right thanks hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys found it and I'm really curious like I said have you seen this jacket this resilience from climb advertised as far as video goes anywhere else if so please mention it in the comment section any questions add those too have a great day thanks for tuning in